TN panels. Twisted Pneumatic, or TN, is the oldest liquid crystal display panel technology still used in monitors today. It works by twisting liquid crystal molecules to control how light passes through the panel. This twisting mechanism makes it simple and inexpensive to manufacture, which is why TN monitors are usually the cheapest option available. The biggest strength of TN panels is speed. They have the fastest response times and some of the highest refresh rates among all liquid crystal display panel types. Response time refers to how quickly a pixel can change from one color to another, measured in milliseconds. A very low response time, like one millisecond, reduces motion blur and ghosting in fast-moving scenes. This makes TN panels especially popular for competitive gaming, where tracking quick movements is more important than color accuracy. TN monitors can also reach refresh rates of 240 Hz or even 360 Hz, meaning the screen can refresh that many times per second. Combined with a capable graphics card, this allows extremely smooth gameplay. However, TN panels have notable weaknesses. They produce the weakest color accuracy of the three main liquid crystal display panel types, and their viewing angles are very limited. If you look at a TN screen from the side or from above, the image often looks washed out or distorted. This is because the twisting liquid crystals cannot maintain consistent light output across wide angles. For tasks like photo editing, video production, or even watching movies, TN panels are not ideal. They are best chosen only when speed and budget are the top priorities. VA panels. Vertical alignment, or VA, is the second major liquid crystal display panel technology. Unlike TN, where the crystals twist, VA panels align their liquid crystals vertically when no voltage is applied. When voltage is added, the crystals tilt to let light through. This design gives VA panels one of their biggest advantages, very high native contrast ratios. Contrast ratio describes the difference between the darkest black and the brightest white the monitor can display. TN and IPS panels often have contrast ratios around 1,000 to 1. VA panels commonly reach 3,000 to 1 or higher. This means black levels look much deeper, and scenes with shadows or night settings appear more realistic. This is one of the reasons VA technology is often used in televisions, where dark scene performance is especially important. Color reproduction on VA panels is better than TN, but not as accurate or consistent as IPS. Viewing angles are also improved compared to TN, but again, they do not match the stability of IPS screens. The main drawback of VA technology is response time, especially in darker transitions. Pixels can take longer to shift between shades of gray, which can cause ghosting or smearing effects in fast-moving scenes. Even on models with high refresh rates, this slower dark level response can be noticeable to gamers. There are several variants of VA technology, including multi-domain vertical alignment, or MVA, advanced MVA, and super VA. These are all refinements designed to improve response time, color consistency, or viewing angle. But the core characteristics remain the same. VA panels balance affordability with strong contrast and decent overall performance making them a middle ground between the fast but color-poor TN and the color-accurate but pricier IPS. IPS panels. In-plane switching, or IPS, is the most advanced of the three major liquid crystal display panel types. Instead of twisting or standing vertically, the liquid crystals in IPS panels are aligned parallel to the glass layers of the screen. When voltage is applied, they rotate within that plane to control light. This arrangement allows much more uniform light output, which directly improves color accuracy and viewing angles. The key advantage of IPS panels is consistency. Colors remain accurate even when viewed from wide angles, often up to 178 degrees horizontally and vertically. This makes IPS the preferred choice for professional use in photo editing, video production, and design work where precise color reproduction is critical. IPS monitors also perform very well for general use and entertainment, since the picture does not shift when the viewer moves slightly off-center. Over time, IPS has developed multiple subtypes. 
Samsung introduced plane to line switching, or PLS, which is nearly identical in function to IPS, but marketed under a different name. AU Optronics created Advanced Hyper Viewing Angle, or AHVA. Despite its name, AHVA is not related to vertical alignment. It is an IPS class technology. More recent developments include Fast IPS, which reduces response times to make IPS better suited for gaming, and IPS Black, which increases contrast ratios to nearly 2,000 to 1, approaching the deep blacks normally associated with VA technology. The trade-offs of IPS are cost and, traditionally, speed. Standard IPS monitors are more expensive than TN or VA, and their response times are slower than TN. However, modern fast IPS panels now achieve one millisecond response times and high refresh rates, making them competitive with TN for gaming while still delivering superior colors and viewing angles. Because of this balance, IPS has become the dominant panel type in the monitor market today. OLED panels. Organic light emitting diode, or OLED, is fundamentally different from liquid crystal display technology. Instead of using a backlight that shines through liquid crystals, OLED panels are self emissive. Each pixel is made of organic compounds that produce their own light when an electric current is applied. This means every pixel can turn completely on or completely off, independently of its neighbors. The result is near-infinite contrast. When an OLED pixel is off, it emits no light at all, producing a true black. Side by side with liquid crystal display monitors, OLEDs show much deeper blacks and more vibrant colors. They also offer excellent response times, often faster than any liquid crystal display panel since no crystal twisting or alignment is required. Viewing angles are the best of any panel technology, with minimal color or brightness shift when viewed from the side or above. There are two main OLED types currently found in monitors, white OLED, often called WOLED, and quantum dot OLED, or QDOLED. WOLED panels use white emitting subpixels with a red, green, and blue color filter plus an unfiltered white subpixel. This arrangement provides good brightness, but can lead to lower sharpness in text rendering because of the non-standard WARGB subpixel layout. QDOLED, developed by Samsung, uses blue-emitting OLEDs combined with a quantum dot conversion layer to create red and green light. The subpixels are arranged in a triangular RGB pattern, which improves color performance and brightness but can introduce text-fringing artifacts in certain desktop applications. Because of these subpixel layouts, text clarity on OLED monitors can vary compared to traditional liquid crystal displays at the same pixel density. Users working with a lot of small text may notice colored edges or fringing. However, for movies, gaming, and general multimedia, OLED provides unmatched picture quality. The main drawbacks remain cost, potential long-term risk of burn-in if static images are displayed for extended periods, and currently limited availability of desktop-sized OLED monitors, Mini-LED, Micro-LED, and Quantum Dots. Mini-LED is not a panel type, but a backlight technology used with liquid crystal displays. Instead of a small number of large light sources, Mini-LED uses thousands of tiny light-emitting diodes grouped into dimming zones behind the liquid crystal display panel. These zones can brighten or darken independently, allowing much more precise control of brightness. The main benefit is improved high dynamic range performance, where highlights can appear very bright while dark areas stay deep. However, since it is still a liquid crystal display, contrast and viewing angles depend on the underlying panel type, such as IPS or VA. Mini LED greatly reduces, but does not fully eliminate issues like blooming, where bright objects glow against dark backgrounds. Micro LED is a separate and much more advanced technology. Like OLED, Micro LED is self emissive, meaning each pixel generates its own light. But instead of organic compounds, Micro LED uses tiny inorganic light emitting diodes for each subpixel. 
This gives it the same infinite contrast benefits as OLED, without the risk of burn-in, and with potentially higher brightness and lifespan. Micro-LED is still extremely expensive and difficult to manufacture at monitor pixel densities, so it is mostly seen in large prototype displays or luxury televisions rather than desktop monitors. Importantly, micro-LED should not be confused with dense mini-LED backlights. Even though both use small diodes, only micro-LED is a true self-emissive panel technology. Quantum dots are another enhancement often marketed under the name QLED. Quantum dots are nanocrystals that convert light into very pure and saturated colors. They are typically placed as a layer in front of an LED backlight. In a liquid crystal display, the white or blue backlight passes through the quantum dot layer, which shifts parts of the spectrum into precise reds and greens. This improves color accuracy, widens the color gamut, and boosts brightness. Quantum dots are not a panel mode themselves. They are a color conversion layer that works with existing liquid crystal display panels. A related use is in QDOLED, where quantum dots convert blue OLED light into red and green subpixels, replacing traditional color filters. I made an awesome video about every DDR RAM, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?